Good morning, it's Mayor Brent Taylor and I'm here. It's 4 a.m. on Christmas morning. We're getting ready to start the snowplow push for the first storm of the year. Just wanted to take you along and see how snowplowing works in our city. Plow drivers are called out by the police department when the roads start to get slick or when snow has accumulated one inch or more. Next, the drivers are assigned to areas, focusing on the main traffic corridors first. So anyways, Brian, if you and uh, Nate want to hit your area or whatever, do up and down hills. Working in pairs of two, the snow plows clear an area together, meeting roughly in the middle. Once the main roads are cleared off, and that takes anywhere from two to three hours to get all the main roads clear, they'll move into your collector streets or streets serving schools, community buildings, they'll feed into your mains and once those are done they move into the neighborhood. There are several types of trucks you'll see out plowing. Nine large trucks plow and salt the main roads. That includes large dump truck style and also bobtails that are used for lower flatter areas. We also have seven smaller trucks for cold sacks. Once the areas are assigned the trucks are prepped and filled with salt. Then they head out to start clearing snow. If it's a light snow, you might see a truck out with its plow up, but they're not just out for a drive. You won't always see it, since some salt is white, not red, but if the plows are out, they're always leaving behind a layer of salt. Sometimes salt is all that is needed. Hopefully it'll melt it and get it cut it, so we don't have to use the plow. Um, if it continues to snow and build up, then we'll end up having to push, and we don't want to push the salt and sand off the side of the road if we don't have to. Occasionally, when it's too cold, even the salt can't break through the snowy barrier. More often, though, it's not the weather that makes plowing difficult. This is where you can help keep our roads safe when the snow flies. To keep your cars, trucks, and trailers off of the streets during pushing hours, or we have an ordinance that doesn't allow overnight parking between 12 and 6 a.m. Everywhere there's a car or garbage can in the road, is a spot that can't be plowed and this affects you and your neighbors. Don't plow, push your snow back into the street after we've plowed it. It makes icy spots that won't melt when the weather is cold. Also, keep those big curbside trees trimmed back. If you have trees in the public right of way, make sure they're trimmed back above 10 feet and beyond the curb. This allows us to get the plows all the way against the curb and get the road open. And when the snow gets plowed back into your driveway, it's not because the driver's out to get you. It's simply a matter of physics. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those uh, things that we wish we could not do, because uh, we as citizens, it happens to us too. But every time you're moving the plow, and as soon as it, an opening opens up, such as a driveway, the snow is going to dump into there. And because we push all the snow from middle to out on both lanes, and so as we push across, all that snow comes and it just builds up. And once we have a driveway, it's going to build up in there also. And here's a little tip to help minimize the snow that dumps back into your driveway. When you're cleaning out your driveway to prevent us from putting it all back in your driveway, put it to the left of your driveway, not to the right. Because as we're plowing, if we hit the pile to the right, it's going to push it back in your driveway. <laughs> Recap. First, please remember to remove all vehicles overnight and when it's snowing off the road. Second, remember to trim those trees back and help our drivers out. And lastly, please don't blow or push snow back into the road after we've plowed. I'm Mayor Brent Taylor and wishing you a safe and happy commute.